For the second day in succession at the start of this season, 38-year-old Paul Collingwood starred in Taunton with a 100 to add to his five wickets on day one as Durham sensed a possible LV County Championship victory over Somerset. Starting the second morning on 98 for two, trailing by 201 runs, Durham was soon celebrating a 50 for Michael Richardson, one which used up 61 balls and one which was reached with his sixth boundary. He'd begun the day on 35 and dominated the early scoring. But Scott Borthwick was also soon on the move. He had struck 12 boundaries in his rapid 50 on the previous evening and he was threatening in partnership with Richardson to bat Somerset out of this game early on the second day with some terrific shots. These two quickly took their partnership to 144, made in 27 overs, but it was ended as Richardson on 59 gave Lewis Gregory his third wicket, Alex Barrow with a simple catch. On a warming morning in the West Country, Borthwick was now joined by Callum McLeod, and this pair continued to make the most of conditions. Somerset hadn't made the most of the good surface on the first day, and their bowlers were finding things tough as Durham headed towards lunch, very handily placed. Borthwick looked as if he was going to head to the break with a 100 to his name before he was beaten for pace by Jamie Overton on 94, a wicket that Somerset needed badly. But they had no more successes in the morning, with McLeod looking good and Collingwood buoyed by his five-wicket haul on the first day, a performance which surprised even himself. His side went to the break four down with 224 runs on the board and in a very good place. 20 minutes after the restart, McLeod was on his way though for 44. Tim Grunewald with the clear LBW which left the visitors 61 runs behind on 238 for 5. Collingwood had begun steadily and was able to add 42 more runs in partnership with Phil Mustard who fell for 22 with a nick behind off Peter Trigo. Collingwood then went to his half century, one made off 88 balls with a single off the same bowler. Somerset and their followers must have been wishing that the former England captain had retired at the end of last season after all. He still clearly loves his cricket. He celebrated by launching Abdurrahman over the long on boundary for a six, a shot he followed up with a four next ball. He did offer a couple of lives in his innings, including this one, guiding this delivery from Jim Allenby to slip where the opportunity was missed. But by the time he got to tea, Collingwood was closing in on his 20th first-class century for Durham. He'd moved on to 86, made out of a total of 347 for six, the lead standing at 48, and with the possibility of adding plenty more in the final session, with the captain producing some shots of quality. Shortly after the restart, Paul Coughlin edged the pick of the Somerset Seamers, Gregory, to Trigo on 18. Before, John Hastings followed in the next over, Grunewald with a fairly comfortable return catch. So Collingwood now needed to shepherd the tail. He moved into the 90s before coming down the pitch to slap Grunewald into the distance. And in the next over, he was at his latest ton, the 30th of his first class career, to complete a wonderful double on the first two days of the season. That was his 11th four to go along with his two sixes in what was an inspired innings and one which had given his side a firm control of this contest at this stage. Gregory at least had something to smile about as the 22-year-old grabbed the fifth five-wicket haul of his career in just his 28th first-class match, Chris Rushworth, his latest victim. And some late swing from Trigo then saw the end of Graham Onions to leave Collingwood undefeated on 109, made out of his side's 380 for a lead of 81. And that soon became a rather meaningful one, as Marcus Descothic couldn't match his opposite number, bold shouldering arms to Rushworth for a duck. Johan Myberg, a first inning centurion himself, went cheaply this time, Rushworth on target once again. Then Onions produced a snorter, which Tom Cooper could only deflect behind. Before Rushworth had James Hildreth well caught by a diving Borthwick, to leave Somerset in a hole on 26 for four. Collingwood gave himself a couple of overs at the end of the day to see if he could continue his magic. This time his two overs cost 16 runs though, with Barrow making the most of some loose stuff from the Durham skipper. Barrow helped to more than double the total before the close. 
He ended on 28 out of his sides, 54 for 4, and will need to score plenty more with the lower middle order on day 3, a day which sees Somerset start, still trailing by 27 runs.